Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's live webinar, The State of Field Services 2024, brought to you by the Technology and Services Industry Association. My name is Vanessa Lucero, and I'll be your moderator for today. I would now like to introduce our presenter today, Val Golovsky, Distinguished Vice President of Research and Advisory for Support and Field Services for TSA. As with all of our TSA webinars, we do have a lot of exciting content to cover in the next 45 minutes. So let's jump right in and get started. Val, over to you. All right, great. Thanks, Vanessa. It was uh, good to see you last week, and uh, we we uh, got a new headset, so I can get rid of my high school photo uh, for the for that intro uh, in the uh, in the webinar. So, anyways, thank you. Hello to everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, today's webinar, State of uh, Field Services. You know, today we've got a uh, special edition of our uh, annual state of the web. As, as always, you know, we're going to review last year and we're going to discuss the top business challenges that are faced uh, by field service organizations. Uh, but just like I did in the state of support, we're going to dig into our research journey uh, that we've launched. It, it was called AI for Predictive and Proactive uh, Support. Uh, and today we're going to focus in on some of the findings to date uh, for equipment manufacturers, for hardware companies. And uh, of course, we've got some uh, exciting insights uh, to share with, with all of you, including our top 10 list of recommendations for 2024. So, you know, when I look back at, at 2023, you know, the only thing I can I can think of is Charles Dickens' opening paragraph uh, to a, a tale of City. You know, I mean, depending on who you talk to, it was the best of times, or it was the worst of times. We saw some wisdom, a lot of foolishness, you know, you had belief, uh, and, and, and incred incredulity, but that's I, I still didn't get that right. Light, darkness, hope, despair, you know, people had everything in front of us and nothing before us, right? So it, everywhere you look, you know, you saw this this dichotomy of facing uh, businesses across the board. And throughout 2023, we seem to be living and working in two completely different worlds at the exact same time. At the start of 2023, we had CEOs of the top two financial service institutions uh, uh, in the United States with diverging perspectives. Jamie Dimon uh, was forecasting a hurricane and Brian Moynihan uh, felt that the consumer health was strong. So if, if you could just uh, take a couple seconds here and let me know, I mean, is your company right now, are, are you going through a workforce reduction? Are you looking at reducing job openings, no change, or are you actually increasing uh, your workforce? So I, I just showed you the trends. Uh, I, I always find this uh, to be really interesting in terms of uh, how it's how it's playing out because you know it's it's different. I I talk to uh, many many members on a on a day in day out basis, and it it never ceases to amaze me. Right, I can go from one call uh, in the morning where we're talking about you know yeah I've I've got to uh, reduce my workforce to the next call that says where do I find people? I need more people to to staff these uh, critical jobs. So uh, I appreciate the, the group. Um, so far, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, shut down the poll just so that we can keep things moving. So I, I appreciate uh, all of you that, that responded. Uh, wow, same as it ever was, right? Just like that, uh, you know, talking head video, right? Uh, workforce reduction. 31% of you are doing a workforce reduction, uh, and 27% of you. Uh, Reducing your, your your job opening, 20% no change, and uh, you know almost one out of four of you are uh, actually increasing your workforce uh, at the same time. So still a little bit of a mixed bag. It's not all bad or all good uh, across the board. And you know, even though a lot of the conversation has been at or below the waterline. You know, I want to introduce you to this idea of, you know, base campers and mountaineers, right? So we're going to kind of play on, on uh, some of the discussions that we've had so far. But, you know, the, the, the concept here is 
what are the things that I need to do to get ready to be able to scale uh, the, the uh, mountain uh, is, is when it comes to AI. So uh, at our webinar, we uh, introduced a metaphor, a metaphor that looked at you know these AI capabilities. And, it, and this metaphor came, uh, was adapted from Hans Morovac's Landscape of Human Competence. The, the idea here was that, you know, he said technological advancements can be viewed as water slowly flooding the landscape. And, you know, 50 years ago, it started drowning out the lowlands, driving out human calculators, record keeping clerks. But most of us, you know, when we went to work, we're, we're pretty dry. But, but with AI advancements, with some of this other technology, the flood's starting to get up into the foothills. And, you know, I think, I don't, I don't know if there's anybody on the call that hasn't, at least in the back of their mind, start to think that, man, it's getting a little damp around here. And uh, maybe this base camp is not such a great place to hang out anymore. Maybe we should start to find some, uh, some higher ground.